Hello, one and two, welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing as Mexico in the 1.6 Ironclad update, Man the Guns DLC. The current situation is, uh, the Soviet Union is, is at war with us, even though we haven't really asked for that war or really done anything in the war. They've killed a couple of our transports that have been providing us with steel. The worst problem has been they're no longer providing us with steel because we're at war with them, and we needed steel. And they were the only big provider who would give us it because we may have pissed off the Americans and the British by nationalizing the oil fields. So, yeah, it hadn't been going particularly well. Uh, oh, hello. America has submarines. Yeah, we'll need to deal with this. Uh, we're not at war with America. We're not at war with anyone else other than the Soviet Union and their little block. And they're not really doing anything to us. The Germans have kind of won the war. They've got the United Kingdom sitting there. They're not invading the United Kingdom. They're just sitting there. Um, they're not at war with the Soviets. They're just sitting there. And the United States is just sitting here with the Allies. Technically at war with a few people, including Japan. And Germany. And they're not doing much. It's kind of ridiculous. Either way. I'm tempted just to, like, move units away and hope they leave theirs, but America's got this border so hard. Like, we can't we can't push through that very easily, if, if at all. I'm going to just reduce these. Uh, no, actually, we'll need those. Those are naval bases, not dockyards. All right, we've got our new destroyer hull. We're working on depth charge mortar for that. What else do we need? Industry we're good on. Engineering we're fine on. Naval doctrine, really. Fleet in being, trade interdiction. I think going something like trade interdiction might be helpful. Generally, I prefer these two. But we know that the main issue for us is going to be we can't take a fight against the American Navy directly unless they're already injured or unless we have time. We're going to be beating the Americans on the mainland, not at sea. Interdicting their trade, however, that would be useful. Right. And now we've spent so much of our naval experience, we'll probably want to send some people out to train again. There we go. And we want you to go train as well. And we've got a thousand mines over here, so you are no longer needed. Put mines there. Hmm. Where to mine next? Yeah, we'll mine around here. I won't mine there. Mine here. We'll start spreading mines around there. Okay. We're adding as much as we can in terms of stuff to help us at sea. Uh, diplomatic request. Uh, Attachments will go where they please. Oh, see so we have manpower now. Anti tank is still a problem. Advanced ship torpedo launcher. And we'll get the modern ship torpedo launcher as well. We're going to make our destroyers something to be feared. Now let's check our oh, improved light. Okay, we'll check the improved light battery. Sure. Uh, we will go for advanced light battery.
Okay, all of you are trained up quite nicely. So let's start putting you on units. There we go. And we'll change them over so that they've got S priority as a mission later on. You know, I can just, for now... Do that. And then take ones who are standing by. And assign them like that. We'll also need some for you two. And... Ooh, do we need any others? Probably okay for now. We could do with a bit more practice though. So we'll... Uh Honduras. You know, we'll start doing bigger groups as well because we can. A good 400 in size. And then practice. And then here we'll do similar, but we'll be doing this with our close support. Also, I did just give them fighter twos, and I'm pretty sure we've got fighter threes here, but they're not at the top of the list, so I got confused. I love it when that happens. <sighs> I hate this. I wonder if the, the updated version is available. I might just go to the um, the mod that I've always used, which is the better air wings controller. This is just horrid. The one thing all Parox games have that is terrible is that they don't flex for larger screen sizes. They're designed for like a 720 screen or something. And then they don't expand boxes when you've got a higher resolution. It makes it very frustrating. Some things do. Like these, obviously, take the entire side. Stellaris, that doesn't happen. But it's stuff like the Better Air Wings mod that is just so necessary that really should be part of core. Alright, you're all ready to go. How are we doing for a number of mines? Uh, we're about 50% of the way through. Well, ideally we will need those anti-tank units. Which means we'll need anti-tank, which we don't have. In theory, it lasts four months. And we're now at the end of 45, and the world is very quiet, apart from the fact that all the war is still ongoing. It's just the world is very quiet, which is weird. The world got quiet, like in what, like 42? Everyone's still at war, but it just got quiet. Like a really weird, technically hot, cold war. And there's still, you know, massive fights going on in the air. It's just no one's invading Britain. The AI still can't invade Britain, apparently. Alright, there's a mortar. Can we get the next level of mortar up? Twenty death charges. Sixteen death charges. Um You know what, sure. Right, Cuba. You want to send me all that steel?
I'm not going to provide you a military access, mate. Stop it. Stop asking. I'm going to attend public mass. And I think this is where we have a look at the invasion of Cuba as an option. And immediately we get that, we can go on Cuba. Because we can just redirect these guys. I'm not going to deploy units yet. I want you to have any tank as well. Any four days. So many units over here. Right, trade interdiction. Modern ship torpedo launcher. Now we're talking. Uh, we'll get the improved submarine snorkel. I'm not going to get the second tier of here because I want to be able to spend uh, naval experience to get it faster. And we don't have any. So instead we'll quickly grab some... Air stuff. Uh, strategic destruction, battlefield support, operational integrity. It's a hard call. I, this is always a really, really tough one. And I'm going to go operational integrity. Just because, especially going up against the US, we're going to need any bonuses we can. That's the advanced light battery. That's going to really help. Basically waiting on that for the destroyed, then we're done. Uh, smoke generator. You know what? We'll upgrade our mines with like magnetic mines and stuff. I'm not sure that... I think this just applies globally. It doesn't apply to... It applies to mines that have already been placed, I think. So we do need all of the mine technologies ready. We get another fuel depot up there. And at some point, we will want to just build a few extra factories because it's taking a while right now to get anywhere. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's six extra factories. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'll put those at the top of the list. Apart from the fuel and the nuclear reactor. And we want the extra range on naval bases so that we can actually operate around the US. There we go. Okay, keep sending me artillery that you keep cancelling. That's fine. I'm going to attend another public mass. I'll attach you to be sent where they please. Total mobilization allows us to go for women in the workforce. Recruit population 3%. Hmm, nice. Uh, 
Um, press censorship, no. Proof work condition. You know what, that gives us a lot of stability, reduces factor output a little bit. I'll take it. Gonna be one month until we've got enough anti-tank available. And I believe that's everything we wanted for the destroyer. Yeah. Like that allows us to make like top tier destroyer. I mean, smoke generator sure would be helpful. I think we'll get that. And then we'll be able to build our new destroyers. Right. Liberate the Caribbean. A new target Savannah. And your new target is Justin from Guantanamo. You? are going to do naval invasion support. And you... Oh, wrong one. <laughs> you know, I'll just do it through here. Uh, are going to be declared Warren. Yoink! Now oh, that was Haiti. But to be fair, I wanted to declare Warren them as well. There we go. And we'll probably want to integrate the Caribbean. Oh, we can't do that yet until we capture them. Fine. Fort for the canal. Maybe. You know, free civilian factory. Haiti joined Comerton. Cuba joined Comerton. Well... That wasn't completely unexpected. And off they go. Oh yeah, we need your organization to go up just like normal. Ooh, hello. Um, automatic split off is enabled. Yeah, we want to send that destroyer back before it gets crippled. Okay, up to speed three. Improve submarine snorkel. Use submarine hull. Gonna make a better tier. Mm, that's not looking good. Oh, they're moving to help. Yeah, you do that. And they've sent troops out to sea. Okay. Why would you do that? Why? Why would you do that? I mean, you did that. Huh. 
Okay, just keep the pressure up. That's Cuber's ours. Hitting Haiti is going to be harder. Unless we get the Dominican Republic involved, we could get the Dominican Republic involved. Yeah, why not? What's up our next attack so they can hit Porto Prince? Yeah. That was a pretty good invasion. Of course they joined Comatern. Ugh. That means we're technically occupying Comatern lands, which the more they're doing to us, so. Sucks to be you. Neither of you got a naval invasion buff to buy? No. That's a shame. And we are positive and anti-tank, which means we can deploy. Well, I'm going to wait until you actually get trained up. You, on the other hand. Get him out. And you. Get him out as well. That just leaves you trying to create so many divisions. You know, I think this is going to be the one we do. And then we're going to have to do 36 more in parallel. Yeah, it's only the only thing we're worried about. Everything else we've got. Uh, and we'll leave you at normal. And because you're actually going to be a relatively large lump of unit, I'm going to spread your equipment weight out in a different block. There we go. We'll give you a new commander as well. Panzer leader, great. The one thing I don't really care about. Force rotation. Fighter baiting. Uh, yeah, we'll grab this and we'll use our research to speed that up. Our experience, sorry. Yeah, that amount of anti tank's gonna take a while. How's production on it coming? We are speeding up. Our production efficiency cap is over 100% at least. Alright, smoke generators, and that, I believe, is everything we wanted for destroyers. Nice. Okay. Production. Focusing on the ships again. Okay. You're going to take so long to be built, I think we're going to cancel you even though you're partway through completion. And we're going to get ourselves a destroyer. Right. 
Torpedo attack. Get a big ass engine. Torpedoes. Actually, we'll put the mandatory on first. Anti air 2. Sonar. Active sonar. Fire control system. What does sonar give us? Just sub detection. We'll want a fire control system. Uh, we'll get some light batteries going on. And then we will want depth charge four. Depth charge four. And yeah, is there anything else we could want here? Like we've got a torpedo rack. I think oh, I'm thinking battery torpedoes. I think on the rear we'll actually put more torpedoes. Yeah. I think that's the right call. Like, we could make a lot cheaper and drop some of this stuff. But I think having, like, this amount of torpedoes is really going to help us out. Yeah. Historic destroyers. And then you are going to be the D-44, because he's in the 44 hull. Um, hyphen 1. And you just hyphen 1. You don't have a particular role. You're a multi-role. Switching away from a lot of production, I'm aware. And then we'll put that there, because the submarine is going to be less important, because we have a lot of them already. We don't have a lot of you. And we will need more steel to get that off the ground. Get you training. That is enough for three of the frontline armies. Which against the Americans is going to be good. Hey Germany. Get a men lease or something? Um. We just got nuclear bombs. This might make a difference. Okay, that means one thing and one thing only. We need a heavy bomber. We need a strategic bomber to go and drop the damn things. So, yes. Our goal here is to get enough that we can just hit the front line in the turn that we open up on them. That's our main goal. I'll let you move troops through my territory. I can always revoke it. Are oh, you moving a lot of your troops? This is great! Oh, America. You've done me such a service, capital reserves. 
license purchase cost decrease, license production speed. Uh, we've already kind of established that no one's going to license this or anything. I'd love to. But I don't think that's possible. Aircraft and air doctrine, that'll apply to our strategic bombers. There go the American troops. This is great. Um, at any point, we can cancel the military access. Oh. And then they will immediately leave, and we can have subs and stuff waiting on the coast ready to kill them off. Who are you at war with? Where are you planning to go? Brazil, basically all of South America, other than me. I mean, I'm Central America. I, yeah, sure. I think we're the we don't care about these zones anymore. Thank you. And you are mined up to the max. Okay. Well, if you're done there, mine that. Mine the eastern seaboard. And it's a bit split up, but... And the Saragossa Sea? Sure, why not? Magnetic mine. Acoustic mine. This is the opportunity we've been waiting for. Like, the Americans can travel down here, but I don't think they've got anywhere to base out of. So they'll move down here and then they'll go, oh. I'm not sure what their plan is, unless they plan to get in the sea and go over here, in which case we're going to surround this with boats. This is our opportunity. This is our, this is our time. This is what we've been waiting for. You only get one shot. Don't miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. America, you're going down. For now, though, I've been at Elysium. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. But until next time, do stay shiny.